Hey guys, good morning. Happy Tuesday. So I'm coming in real quick because I have been reading articles. I have been watching videos and I'm at the point where I just need to talk about this because it's really sad. It's really sad that, you know, when you marry us, when you get married to someone, you think they're going to be by your side for better or for worse, through sickness and health. To death do you part. You think that those were the words that were presented to, to both parties in your marriage. But to see somebody who just can't wait. They just have to be in a relationship. Because they feel some type of way that their wife is slipping away from them. It makes me sick. And it makes me sad for her. B. Smith. I remember watching her. You know, when she came on TV, she used to, I used to remember watching her and, you know, see that she had restaurants, rest, restaurants, excuse me, restaurants and, you know, magazines and books. And, you know, she had full products with her face on it. You know, she made me, she was one of the ones that inspired me to become an entrepreneur. I'm just going to say it. She was. Now, I just hate the fact that every time that when they write an article about somebody, especially a person of color, they got to compare to somebody. Listen, I didn't know Martha Stewart. And let me tell you something. I, I don't, I'm not saying I don't like Martha. I like Martha. She's cool people. But I did not know about no Martha Stewart at the time when I knew about B. Smith. I just didn't. I found out about Martha Stewart later on, I think. If my timeline is correct, I found out about Martha Stewart later on. I did not know about know about B. Um, Martha Stewart around the time with B. Smith. I didn't, or I don't remember. I didn't, but I, I know I didn't. So to compare her as the Black Martha Stewart, no, she is not the Black Martha Stewart. She is B. Smith. Okay, stop comparing. She's B. Smith. Um. So you know, I was that made me proud. You know. Someone that looks like me. She got all these things going on. And then when she's on TV, B. Smith style, I stay watching that all the time. Because you know why? She had people on there from like Aretha Franklin. She had so many celebrities. People of color was on her show. When she do a party, you can see, you know, the party she threw, the people that were supporting her. It was a good thing. But then, you know, later on in life, she became ill, you know. She has Alzheimer's disease. Yes, she has Alzheimer's disease. And you can't help that. You know, that's just something that happens. Not all of us get it, but some of us do. So you never know when it's going to strike you or when you're going to get it. But, you know, when she first realized that it was happening to her, she spoke about it. I never forget she, um, they presented her with an award and Neo had, Sing to her, Miss Independent. And she was just, you could just see the happiness on her face. But, you know, we can't control what happens to us when we get older. But when you have a spouse that you, you know, you've been married for over 20 years. And you have a spouse and you think they're going to ride with you to the end. And they don't. I have no respect for Dan. Because I feel as if he don't want to be bothered. He's just there. To make himself look good. But he's actually looking stupid. Okay. Because first of all. He is totally disrespecting B. Smith. And where the hell is B. Smith family? Where's her family? Where's her friends? Who know her? Because I would prefer if Dan. If you didn't want to deal with her. In the state that she's in right now. Which is messed up. You could have at least reached out to her friends or family. And say listen. I, it's taking a toll on me. I can't deal with this alone. Can I? Can you help me? Or can you help me put her somewhere? Or could you just ask for help? But no, you turn your back. And now you got Miss Footloose living, staying, have a room in B. Smith's home. I seen that video. It was B. Smith, the woman. I don't even want to mention her name. Dan and the daughter. Now, the daughter says how B. Smith is a mother to her and blah, 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 do, 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 all that. Okay, if she's like a mother to you, then why the hell are you letting this going on? Why are you not saying anything to your dad about having another woman in the same house where you all live? 
That's totally disrespectful. And then you want to take out, take her on a date. So you have no shame. You have no shame. The daughter, you just as delusional as your father. Y'all do not respect B. Smith. And I'd rather for her to be in hands of somebody or people that love her around, be around her, that love her. Because what they're doing, all they're doing is just running up that lady's money. I believe so. I don't care if you disagree or this is, I could say what I want to say. I believe they are just there for the money. And so is Miss Footloose. Because if he really loved her, he would not be doing what he's doing. And then you really need to take a lesson and watch the notebook. Because at the very end, her husband, even though she would drift away for a time, he never gave up on her. He wasn't out there mingling around or having a start another relationship or anything like that. Yes, it was times where she forgot about her husband, but he stayed there. He stayed there. He would read to her. Every time I watch that, show, that movie, it just makes me cry. He would read to her. He loved her. That's what you do when you love somebody. You try to help them too. And then when she came back for a little bit, she remembered him. And they precious those few little minutes that they had or seconds that when she came back, she remembered him. Every time she would read, she would remember something. And then sometimes her memory come back where she remember him. He stayed with her through all of that. Through all of that. What are you doing? You have your little Miss Footloose staying in a, in a room in B. Smith's house. That's mad disrespectful. You need to get all the heat for that. You need to get all the heat. You, need, you and your daughter. Both of y'all need to catch mad heat because that's not right. That's not right. And I feel so bad for B. Smith. I really do. Where's her family? Where's her friends? You know, what's going on? Ain't no way in the hell. You want to have another woman in my house. And then in the newspaper, one article I was reading talking about it's taking a toll on him. So what is taking a toll on him? That's his wife. That's his wife. If he need help, he should reach out to the family and ask for help so that maybe he'll have a little bit of time for himself or to do things. And, you know, there's, there's ways to go about doing certain things. And what he's doing is not right. It's not right at all. And Miss Miss Things just sitting there like it's normal. It's not that that is not normal. It's not normal. It's sickening. He gets no respect for me. Neither and neither does that daughter of his. But you know, it's just sad to see him doing this to B. Smith. It's really sad because she don't know what's going on. This lady is not here. You know, she her body is here, but her mind is drifting. And it's sad that he's taking advantage of her. Everybody is taking advantage of her. And that's not fair. It's not right. Where's her family? Why nobody is speaking up for this lady? Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk to y'all today about with Beast. Because it was on my mind heavy. I was reading. The more I read about it and the more video, videos I watch, it was just pissing me off. So, it's like... I just... Needed to vent. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm going to finish drinking my tea. I'm going to get my day started because I do have a lot to do. I want to try to go live today. I don't know. I might. I might do a little something. But anyway, I'll talk to you later. Y'all have a good one. Why the hell is that stopping?